Holy hell, that was awesome. We've waited all these years for Samurai Jack to come back, and it was definitely worth it. I just saw the episode, and it was great. Really good. Just a great way to come back. I remember back when the original episode aired, just, and when it ended, I was just disappointed because we never got the ending of it. I always hoped it was going to come, but it just never did. I always heard it was supposed to be a movie, but it never came. And eventually, everyone just gave up on it and moved on. But today, that all changed, and it was definitely worth it. But <coughs> so the episode is the very first one. I I'm not sure how much there are actually going to be. I maybe like ten or so. It's supposed to be a short series, but I'm guessing it's going to air every Saturday. But the first episode was pretty much just. I guess it didn't really left off where the series left off, but about 50 years, which is what everyone saw in the commercials. And it pretty much started off with these two little blue creatures getting chased off about by these uh, little bug robots, or big ones actually. And I thought it was really clever how they communicated because they they had these little antennas on them, and they would create electricity, and they would say words and stuff like "I love you" and "Thank you" and stuff. And I was like. That's a clever way of communicating. I, I would have never thought of that. that. That was pretty cool. So, they're surrounded by all these bugs and they think it's the end, but then this guy on a, on a motorcycle is coming in, looking all badass, has this mask, and then he starts just eliminating them by shooting them and things like that. And eventually, it's, of course, revealed to be Jack. And he now has a beard and long hair and looks a lot more different now. So he annihilates those things and, and saves the day and, and then uh, goes away and the uh, little blue creature says thank you with her antennas or something. Like I said, that, that was really cool. And then he drives away. And uh, we, we also, and then after that, he there's this explosion from this uh, other place and he doesn't go to it. I'm like, aren't you going to go save them? What are you doing? But he doesn't do it. So he just goes away and, and gets to his own other business. But then he also gets all these hallucinations of his, of his mom, his dad, his, all the people in the village, and this one guy, I guess, who was attacking the village. I, I haven't seen the original series in so long. I, I mean, I knew it was just airing, but I only saw one episode. I completely forgot about it, so it's probably going to be com pretty confusing to watch the series for a while, because I'm going to be like, What's that? And I was look it up and like, oh yeah, I remember that. So, he gets all these hallucinations of all the people in the village who are getting hurt and stuff, and they're pretty intense, because there's this one part where all these leaves fell into this river, and then the, all the all these corpses of the people in the village were like, <laughs> and whatever, so, it was pretty intense, and you also saw this dad on, his dad uh, who's chained to something, and on fire, so it was pretty intense stuff. Then we we also get these um, clips of I guess I guess they're supposed to be Aku's daughters or followers or something. I'm not entirely sure, but there's this lady who wears a thing that's sort of similar to his head, and she's pretty much the leader. And I guess she gave birth to all of them and all these other daughters who are going and supposed to kill him. So. And she's pretty much telling them a bunch of lies that Samurai Jack is the one who's trying to go and t take over the world and make it worse and have everyone be miserable when in reality it's Aku. So she's going around and brainwashing her own babies and telling them that Aku is the great one. But it's I don't know if it's really clear where Aku is because they sort of, kind of, talked about him in past tense. They talked about like how we await your big reveal and stuff, so... I, I guess it's not really known where Aku is. Maybe he disappeared years ago or something. I, I, I'm i not really completely sure, but... I'm definitely wondering where he is, because... But, but no, uh, scratch, scratch that, because I... We did get to hear him from later on, which is in this really cool battle with this... Um, uh, some... He's based on some actor, uh, I think Davis or something. I, no, I can't remember it, but... 
<laughs> he was really funny. Kind of annoying, but really funny. I'm like, who is this guy? He, he's weird. He, he, he was just a very strange villain, but really funny. And uh, he, he pretty much uh, went and played his flute, and when she made this giant stone monster that went and attacked Jack, and of course, Jack went and, go, went and defeated it and everything like that, and it also revealed what happened to his sword, and it showed that he was in some battle, and then it went down and fell down in some ambivalent fist or something like that, and he never saw it again, so I'm hoping he does get his sword back, but at least we do know what happened to his sword. So he goes around, he kills the villain, and who, I guess I'll miss, but... Like I said, he was also sort of annoying, but he kills him and then goes on his way. So, it was a really good episode to go and come back on. I really enjoyed it. This is how you make a comeback for a show. Not like the Powerpuff Girls or anything where you go and put a bunch of memes and stuff in it. No. Samurai Jack did a 100% right. I would even say, I think... This would probably be the best comeback for a show I've ever seen. I think it is honestly the best one I've ever seen because there are a bunch of shows that have come back, some good, some bad, but to me, this was definitely the best. I don't know if I can really wait until next Saturday to just see the next episode, but we're going to have to. And also on um, Aku, we also only heard him on the phone because... The guy went and took out a phone and was like, Hey, Aku, blah, 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 and then uh, Jack went and destroyed his phone, and then you heard him a little bit again, but I don't know if it was Aku, because to me, it didn't really sound like him. Maybe it was just because it was on the phone, and the phone didn't have a really great audio to it, but it, it didn't really sound like Aku to me, so... And yeah, I know Mako was dead, so they had to go and replace him, but I'm really hoping the replacement is going to be good. I, I personally thought they were probably going to get the guy who replaced Mako for Avatar on The Last Airbender when he replaced, I, oh, what's his name, Iroh, but maybe they got a different guy, I don't know yet, I haven't really looked at that information, but it was a really good final, I enjoyed it, just, I, I'm glad it, it's going to be like this, and I saw some people talk about it on the internet, they like it too. As they should. If, if you didn't like it, I don't know what's the matter with you. You have some kind of problem, obviously, but I really enjoyed this. The, the intro I didn't really care for. They it just talked pretty much, which pretty much is about Aku or Jack going like it's been 50 years since I been sent forward in time and things like that. So I was like, oh, come on, will where is the real theme? They didn't have it, but the. They at least did have the part with his eyes and the like, thing at the very end, so they did at least have that and the original credits. So that was pretty cool too. So it is also going to be a little bit more adult. Obviously, they did have did have some blood and stuff in it, but they didn't actually have any bad words in it. So that surprised me. I thought Jack would go like go like damn it or something like that, but. No, they, they didn't have any. Just I mean, it's just the first episode, obviously, but I was still surprised. So, oh, what a great way to come back. Really good. It's just, Powerpuff Girls, take a lesson from this, okay? And any other show that plans on coming back in the future, take a lesson from this. This is how you make a comeback. And to me, this is going to be a really good continuation, and... I think in the end, fans are going to be satisfied. I, I can't wait to see what happens in the end. We've been waiting so many years for this, and it's finally happening. It's good to see Cartoon Network is at least listening a little bit. So, what did you think of it? Did you like it, like me, which would be the smart idea, or did you hate it, which wouldn't make any sense at all? <laughs> Leave it down below. Samurai Jack is back, and I couldn't be more proud. Have a great day.